The Soil and Groundwater team is partnering up with a superhero along the river corridor. Its name is Appetite. It's an invisible shield and practically impenetrable to strontium-90 and other contaminants that were released from the end reactor into cribs near the river. The river corridor, particularly near the end reactor, is where what may seem like a supernatural occurrence is happening. Since taking over the contract, CHPRC has drilled 170 wells along 2,500 feet of the river's shoreline at a place called the NR2 Barrier. The goal is to trap and remove strontium-90 from the groundwater before it migrates to the river by injecting appetite into the wells. The appetite chemically bonds to and locks the strontium-90 in place. This is how it works. These green containers are filled with liquid chemicals, calcium, citrate, and phosphate. They are mixed with fresh river water which is pumped from the river, filtered via this mobile unit, and then injected into the wells. The calcium phosphate forms a, an immobile appetite and the calcium phosphate removes the strontium. The st calcium is actually given off and it absorbs the strontium and that becomes immobile. And it's just one less contaminant uh, that we have to worry about along the Columbia River. The previous contractor created 300 feet of barrier and CHPRC has been able to double that amount making the barrier 900 feet in length at the most highly contaminated area in NR2. According to Barrett, once in place, the barrier should last for decades. The Soil and Groundwater team used Recovery Act funding to drill the wells and perform the injections. September 30, 2011 marked the end for many American Recovery and Reinvestment Act funded projects across the U.S. Department of Energy's Hanford site. For contractor CH Tuam Hill Plateau Remediation Company, the largest recipient of Hanford stimulus funding, the day marked the end of two and a half years of unprecedented productivity that significantly reduced the Hanford site cleanup footprint. CH Tuam Hill was allocated $1.3 billion of the $1.6 billion received by the DOE Richland Operations Office in April 2009. The funding allowed CH Tuam Hill to double its workforce and accelerate cleanup. The result were great strides made towards the DOE 2015 vision to shrink the Hanford site cleanup footprint from 586 miles to 75 square miles by the year 2015. The CH2M Hill project team spanned the site demolishing 76 buildings on the Central Plateau and the 100K area. Removing more than 1,000 debris sites, 130 glove boxes and 16 contaminated rail cars. Remediating dozens of waste sites building Hanford's next generation of groundwater treatment facilities, installing 303 new wells and decommissioning 280 wells that were no longer of service. And, when the work was all done, shrinking the Hanford site cleanup footprint by more than 50%.